Now, Paul's point seems to be that whatever common way or family greeting you may have in your society, make it special. Make it holy. Set it apart for the Lord as you meet each other. Show your unity, your deep fellowship, your love for God and for each other by greeting each other in a special way. And so here in Toronto, let us as church continue to also do this. Let's greet each other, whether in handshake, in hug, or whatever other means, to greet each other regularly, to show that we care for each other, that when we come into church, we don't simply sit down and ignore the brothers and sisters that sit next to us, but that we interact with each other, say hello to each other, greet each other. Paulus has a second statement in verse 12. All the saints in Christ Jesus greet you. Now, Paul is in Macedonia as he writes this to the Corinthians. And he wants to emphasize that the set-apart believers in that area in Macedonia also want to say hello to the people in Corinth. They wish to express their unity with them. And how beautiful it is when people from different areas of the world can be united together and greet each other. As I come from Papua New Guinea, I also want to greet you on behalf of the churches in Papua New Guinea. As I come from Australia, I want to greet you on behalf of the churches in Australia. They too seek to have unity with you here in Toronto. God is gathering a Catholic church, a church from every tribe and tongue and nation, from every part of the world. What a blessing it is that this is so. We're not, not just a little social club gathering here in Toronto, but members together in the universal church of the Lord Jesus Christ. And that very fact that there's greetings coming from different places has to be a reminder to us too that we need to work together here locally and have local fellowship and local unity. How can the Thessalonians greet the Corinthians? Which Corinthians are they greeting? The ones that follow Apollos or the ones that follow Paul? They're greeting the whole church in Corinth because they want their unity and they see them in unity. And so this greeting from overseas or from far away is again also a call to our fellowship, our unity, the close link that we need to have to each other. Oh, brothers and sisters, rejoice. Strive for full restoration. Be encouraged. Be of one mind. Live in peace. And the God of love and peace will be with you. Greet each other constantly. Remember. You're part of God's universal church, gathered from every tribe and tongue and people and nation. And may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen.